Hey everyone, in today's video, I will show you a detailed tutorial on how to get started with Private Internet Access VPN, one of the best VPNs on the market. I'll provide you with everything you need to know and share all its features. If you're looking for a quality and secure VPN that will help you keep your online activities private and safe, then this video is for you. If you're interested in PIA VPN, you can click the link in the description below. With this link, you can get 83% off on your subscription. You'll also get an additional four months on your subscription on top of your discount. This is the best deal on the internet, and I'm really happy to share it with you. To get started with PIA, you'll need a subscription. Enter your logins when you subscribe to PIA, like your username and password. Once logged in, you'll see the main interface of the PIA application. You can now choose a server and connect to the VPN to start browsing securely. And that's it. Whether you're on a mobile device or a desktop, setting up PIA VPN is quick and easy. Now let's explore the settings menu where you'll find many options to customize the VPN based on your preferences. Starting with the general settings, you have tons of useful options. For instance, you can set up the VPN to launch automatically when you start your computer, ensuring that your connection is always protected. You can also choose the interface's appearance by selecting between different themes. Whether you prefer a dark or light theme is entirely up to you. This customization allows you to create a more comfortable and visually satisfying experience while using the VPN. Now let's move on to the protocol section in the settings menu. Here you'll find two main options, OpenVPN and WireGuard. Each of these protocols has its own advantages so you can choose the one that best suits your needs. WireGuard is known for being the faster option between the two. If speed is your top priority, such as for streaming or online gaming, WireGuard is likely the best choice for you. It's designed to be lightweight and fast, providing high-speed connections without sacrificing on security. On the other hand, if you prefer a more customizable and more secure option, you might want to go with OpenVPN. With OpenVPN, you have the ability to adjust the encryption level. You can choose between 256-bit encryption and 128-bit encryption. The 256-bit encryption offers a higher level of security, making it the preferred choice if you're concerned about protecting your data. The 128-bit encryption, while still secure, is slightly less so, but offers better performance due to its lower computational requirements. Moreover, you can also select different ports within the OpenVPN settings. However, for most users, sticking with the default port is recommended. The default port is created to work smoothly with most network structures, and typically does the job well without any additional adjustments. In summary, the protocol section allows you to tailor your VPN connection to your specific needs, whether you prioritize speed, security, or customization. WireGuard offers speed and performance, while OpenVPN provides flexibility with data protection levels and protocol types, giving you control over your security and performance. Now let's explore the networks section on the settings menu. Here you'll find different options to customize your VPN experience according to your preferences and needs. Firstly, you can choose your DNS settings. DNS is responsible for translating domain names into IP addresses, and you can select from different DNS options provided by PIA. Use your existing DNS or even set up your own custom DNS if you prefer. By using PIA's DNS servers, you can activate the ad blocker feature, which helps to block ads and improve page load times. This provides a smoother and more enjoyable browsing experience and improves online privacy. I should also mention that they have kill switch feature. This feature automatically cuts off your internet connection if the VPN connection encounters an error unexpectedly. This ensures that your sensitive data and browsing activities remain protected even if your VPN disconnects. Let's explore some more advanced features offered by private internet access that give you greater control on your VPN experience. First is the automation feature. This allows you to set up automatic instructions that will be enabled depending on your preference. How does this work? Let me give you an example. So let's say you often visit different places with Wi-Fi, like your home, school, or a friend's house. With automation, you can automate to turn on the VPN whenever you connect to a new Wi-Fi spot. This helps keep your internet safe and private, especially when you're using Wi-Fi in public places like cafes or parks. Next up is split tunneling, an incredibly useful feature that lets you choose which applications or websites 
are routed through the VPN and which ones are not. This means you have the option to decide which parts of your internet activity are hidden by the VPN and which ones are using the regular internet connection. Lastly, one of the standout features of PIA is its multi-device support. With a single subscription, you can enroll and secure up to 10 devices, making it an excellent choice for households or individuals with multiple devices to protect. Whether you want to secure your smartphones, tablets, laptops, or desktop computers, PIA covers you. It's also worth remembering that PIA offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, allowing you to try out the service without risks. If, for any reason, you're not completely satisfied with PIA, you can request a full refund within the first 30 days of your subscription. In summary, I recommend private internet access because it's more than just a VPN. It's a complete privacy and security solution offering many features and benefits. If you find this tutorial helpful, feel free to check the link in the description to take advantage of the best deal available on the internet for PIA VPN. So which part of this tutorial did you find most useful? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any other questions or topics you'd like me to cover feel free to drop them below as well. If you're intrigued by the features of PIA VPN, I encourage you to explore it further. Based on my own experience with it, I genuinely recommend giving it a shot and I'm confident that you'll find it helpful too. That's all for now. Wishing you a fantastic day ahead.